for every console generation, DICE sets the bar for excellence in audio and visual presentation. We are creating epic battles at a scale and fidelity unlike anything you've experienced before. That's all we got last night at EA Play in regards to what the future of Battlefield will be. A smoke simulation, a building being destroyed, a shot that only lasted a few seconds of multiple soldiers running around and doing soldier things, and an incredibly realistic animated model of a human head. That's it. While there isn't anything massive here, we can take what was shown along with other announcements from EA Play and make some assumptions about how the next Battlefield game might turn out. The two most important pieces of the puzzle though are the clip of the soldiers and the destruction of the building. But I have to say that both of those clips have raised some questions amongst the community and certainly confused a few people at the same time. I think the messaging could have been better. But I would guess that most people would look at what was shown here and take it at face value. It's obviously a work in progress, white box environment and everything is placeholder. And what DICE are showcasing here is that there will be a big emphasis on destruction in the next game and it's been improved and evolved and also that the scale of the next battlefield has been increased. Laura Mielli, who presented this section stated as such. For every console generation, DICE sets the bar for excellence in audio and visual presentation. We are creating epic battles at a scale and fidelity unlike anything you've experienced before. But what could this mean in terms of gameplay though? Well, it could mean that it's more players per server. 64 players is old news now for a lot of gamers and Battlefield has been falling short compared to recent games like Warzone and Fortnite in terms of player count. I'd personally love to see bigger maps and higher player counts, but only if the experience is tailored to that and it works well and everything can stick together from a technical standpoint and perform as expected. The first thing that I thought of though when I saw this next gen clip on the stream last night was the distant soldiers that you can see on the map Iwo Jima in Battlefield 5. If you head out to the far corners of the map with spectator cam, look around and just watch. There's actually a ton of AI simulation occurring. The soldiers run at each other, some fire guns, some get shot and some just fall over to their untimely demise. Now you may never notice it in a match and perhaps you've never even seen this before but it is there right now. It's there to add a bit of flavour, fill it in the background to trick you into thinking that you are in fact part of a bigger war than whatever the playable space is in front of you. There's more than just those five conquest flags. The clip reminded me of that, so is what we're looking at here simply an evolution of that AI simulation that DICE have been working on since Battlefield 1, or is it insinuating that this is the kind of player count we'll be experiencing in Battlefield 6 based on what Laura said? Maybe, I mean there's definitely more than 64 soldiers there. Taking a closer look at these soldiers though and the weapons that they're carrying, they are the Japanese soldiers from Battlefield 5. The character model's head is the same. They're carrying what looks like a Mosin Nagant. And as I said, most people look at that and go, okay, obvious placeholder, but others are confused by this and take it as some kind of official announcement. If you look on social media, Reddit, forums, many people now think that the next Battlefield game is World War II again, which let's be honest, it's not that exciting and it doesn't make much sense and it just won't be. But you can't blame them for that when this is the messaging. When you take into account the context of where this clip was shown, what was said and the fact that it says next gen right there. I think soldiers with generic clothing or just simply wireframe models instead would have done the job and demonstrated the point just as well without causing that confusion in the community. The building being destroyed though I think is perhaps more telling with some impressive debris simulation occurring. However, Flackfire pointed out on Twitter that atop the building is what looks to be an air conditioning system installed as well as a satellite dish and it is generally a more modern looking building. So does that confirm that the next Battlefield game is set in modern day? Absolutely not, but it could be a clue and some people will see it as that. Just keep in mind that developers use assets like this 
all of the time. It could be a brand new model. It could be a model that was made 10 years ago. We just don't know. To me, this is obviously for demonstrative purposes, so I wouldn't read into it too much. And the model of the head, I think it speaks for itself, really. This is DICE flexing their artistic prowess in delivering realistic looking characters on the Frostbite engine with modern animation techniques and lighting. I love how there's been threads though suggesting that this could be Blackburn from the Battlefield 3 single player campaign or even Wrecker from Battlefield 4. It doesn't look like either of those characters to me though. This could just be based off a developer or a real model. Who knows? Some people have even suggested that because of this level of fidelity, it means that there's going to be a single player campaign. I don't think the next Battlefield game should have a single player campaign. I don't think it needs one. I think I should focus on the multiplayer element and just do that really well. But just showing a realistic looking head doesn't confirm or deny any of that. The smoke simulation clip just looks cool, I guess. Battles generally make a lot of smoke occur, so it seems like DICE are stepping up their smoke game. Now then, one of the biggest announcements for me at last night's EA Play was that Apex Legends is coming to Steam, Nintendo Switch, and more importantly, receiving cross-platform support. And I think this is very telling, in fact, for the future of the next Battlefield game. And I do, in fact, expect it to launch with crossplay because if it doesn't it's a really big mistake in my eyes and it just makes sense nowadays to have it if we look at the way the industry is going specifically for multiplayer shooter type games crossplay is the new buzzword it's the cool kid on the block fortnite yeah that arguably started the trend a couple of years ago allowing everyone to play together they even got sony to agree to it eventually and having the option for your game to be accessible on any platform and the ability to play with or against any other platform at the same time is a really big deal the amount of people who've told me that they love crossplay in warzone and modern warfare for example is massive because they can play with mates or family members that they haven't been able to ever before so crossplay is the future for multiplayer titles i don't think there's any getting away from it fortnite modern warfare no man's sky Rocket League, recently Destiny 2 said it's coming as well. And EA just announced Apex, Rocket Arena and also Star Wars Squadrons will support crossplay, which seemingly runs on the Frostbite engine, by the way. So it could be that that's their proving grounds for how they can make crossplay work on the Frostbite engine to pave the way for the next Battlefield game to have it too. I think it would be cool. I think it solves several potential problems that Battlefield games have historically run into in the past, especially when it comes to lower player counts on older titles. I mean, on PC, there are occasions where you can't find a match that you're looking for. But if there's a large pool of players all in it together, matchmaking times will theoretically be shorter. You'll get into games faster. And if the player count is increasing and we are getting those more expansive battles like we've never seen before, crossplay also helps with that too. Let's say the player count goes up to 128 people per server, then that's 64 extra people that you need to find every single time a new game starts. And if you're limiting it per platform and you've got multiple game modes and maps like Battlefield always does, you can see how that starts to quickly become a problem. Wrapping things up, I wasn't expecting there to be anything big for Battlefield EA Play this year. I wasn't expecting anything at all, but what we got here was a tiny tease that many people will draw their own conclusions from. But what's evident is that there is a big level of excitement and expectation for whatever is next. And if a few short clips is all it takes to get people talking, Battlefield could come back strong if they bring out a quality game. With that said, do let me know your thoughts on the clips that we saw and the information that we received. How would you interpret those clips? Let me know down in the comments below. I hope you're all doing well. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, a dislike. Subscribe if you want to see more and hit the bell for all notifications and I'll see you in the next one.